Well, I just finished up three weeks of class here in Colorado at MTI, Mission Training International. And I just finished up a class called Splice. And I really don't know how to describe it. it. It was just such a wonderful experience being here and taking the class. Um, I guess I can just tell you a little bit, a brief snippet about what I learned. Um, of course we talked about cultural studies and the classes were, were really more than just lectures. They made us interact and discuss with one another and really made us reflect on what, um, we just really made us reflect on ourself and, and the topics we were learning about. Um, for instance, one of the things that I was confronted with was how do I, being, I tend to be more of a task-oriented person, learning that from our culture in the United States. How do you go into a culture like Mongolia, who is more relationally oriented, um, when you're wanting to get things done and they're wanting you to sit and have a cup of tea with them? Um, some other things that we talked about, one difficult topic was how do you deal with adversity and where is God in that? Um, it's a very difficult thing um, to, to go through stress and hard times and how do you deal with that in a healthy way and we just discussed that and talked about things that we might encounter in the field and how we deal with that um, and just looked at our natural tendencies about how we deal with stress and adversity and how we find God in that because sometimes it's very difficult um, we talked about in those times how do you how do you see God do you do you see him as being in those times? Um, some of the other things we talked about was conflict. How do you deal with conflict? Um, we were taught that one of the biggest reasons for people to leave the field or switch fields was because of conflict, with, not with the nationals, but with teammates. So we looked at our own personal conflict styles and, and how we can grow in that and have healthy ways of resolving conflict and, and dealing with um, issues when we don't see eye to eye so that we're being effective and not having to leave the field. Um, one of the things that I felt like I learned and, and felt like God was telling me during this time was, um, can you trust that I love you? Um, it's something that I struggle with, is um, just knowing deeply that God loves me and um, love is a very powerful thing and it's going to be a greatest witness. I mean, that's how we know that we're disciples, is by our love. So can, I just really want God to, to press deeply in my heart His love so that I can share it with other people and just be able to rest in that. And I guess that leads me to another thing we talked about was rest and taking Sabbath. If you want to be refreshed and renewed in, in your ministry and in just in life in general, um, you need to take time out for rest and for Sabbath. And if you don't, you're going to get worn down pretty quick and you'll burn out. Um, so that's a little bit about what we talked about. I wish I could just share the whole experience with you, but that's impossible unless you come out here and, and take it for yourself. Um, and kind of going off of the theme of love, it was just a wonderful experience living in community with a bunch of other missionaries and people who love the Lord. Um, it was, we all lived in the same building and it's it's just amazing what proximity can do for building community. Um, not only were we interacting with each other in class and sharing what was on our heart and what we're struggling with and we're all traveling down the same road toward the mission field. Um, we were also able to just have fun together in the evenings after class and play ping pong and play basketball and, and just have a good time together and fellowshipping. Um, you know, going on hikes and enjoying the beautiful nature like you see behind me. Um, it was just a wonderful time and, and it's just amazing in three weeks how much community you build and how close you can get to people. And I must admit I was skeptical at first when they said, we're going to encourage you to build community and I was kind of like, yeah, well, we're only here for three weeks. But by the time it was all over, it was so hard to say goodbye and I still have that sense of sadness of telling my friends goodbye who weren't staying on for the next class. Um, we lost quite a few people um, who were going back home and leaving to go back to the field. So that was really hard and emotional time to, to build those relationships and become real close with people and then have to say goodbye. But um, it's just amazing to experience what true Christian community can be like 
and I would encourage you to pursue that and invest in relationships. And it also <laughs> uh, made us uh, apply what we had learned in class about dealing with loss and grief and, and saying healthy goodbyes and how you deal with that healthy, in a healthy way. Well, for the next two weeks now, I will be taking a class called Pilot, which is uh, where we'll be learning language acquisition skills. So that'll be a big shift in gears, going from a more emotional and, um, I don't know, class aimed more at your heart to this language, this language acquisition class. And it's very windy here. And the language acquisition class will be more um, oriented toward our head and academics. So please enjoy the beautiful scenery here in Colorado behind me. As you can see, the aspens are starting to turn, which is gorgeous.